All right, good evening. This is Luke Thomas, BigBritish.com, here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 9 p.m. in the evening on Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020. What a great year. <laughs> yeah, what a great year. All right, we're going to start by going over the um, forecasts over at, um, actually, we're going to do the, uh, we're going to go over to these maps right here. And we're going to start with uh, the quakes that have hit during the last uh, 24 hours. And we're going to start out with the, um, the quake that hit down uh, near uh, Ecuador, just east of southern Ecuador, in northern Peru. And here's our forecast map. So that quake hit right across the border here. And there's the highest risk there is 80%. And we had mentioned uh, southern Ecuador will hit just across the border. Another quake, but one hit there yesterday as well. All right, and then we got two quakes in uh, Chile, one near uh, Santiago, just north of Santiago, Chile, and one here in the northeast near Antofagasta Prefecture, and uh, that's right on the Argentine uh, border, Argentina border. And here's our map for that. One hit right up here in the 85%, 90% uh, risk here, right here. And the one near Santiago hit in the 55% risk here in the south. So of course, this one did a little bit better than the other one. <clears throat> All right, in uh, Indonesia, we are calling for a, a significant earthquake off the, and actually this warning is still going into the 23rd as well. But we're calling for 6.0 off the shore here of central Sumatra. And so far, and that warning still continues, uh, we got this uh, 4.6 off the shore of central Sumatra, a little bit farther south than our warning. I believe this one hit down in here, but we're still calling for significant earthquake in uh, central Sumatra off the coast here and once again we had a quake just south of that uh, warning area all right and then in the Philippines we got a uh, 5.0 earthquake here uh, just northeast of uh, this uh, southern uh, Philippines and that was right about in this area here of course, most of our risk is over on the west side, so that is hitting, I believe, in 35% risk area and uh, out of our forecast area. Two quakes in uh, Japan. This one here in uh, the north was in uh, near Fukushima, and this one was near Shizuoka. And we look at the map here, our forecast map, and one was in our 60% risk area, and the other one was down in the 65% risk area in Shizuoka. And our highest risk is across uh, this region, just south of Tokyo, over, the, over to the Shimane Prefecture. And in, uh, these are two interesting quakes here. This one here west of Athens, Greece, was a little late. You can see our forecast map here. We were calling for a more significant quake to the northwest. This one hit uh, to the west of Athens, right about here in the... Uh, Let's see that again, it was uh, Rio, west of Rio, Greece. And this other one here now in Sicily, our warning, our forecast map for the 24th is uh, looking for a significant earthquake near Mount Etna, maybe another volcanic eruption. I know it erupted already, but maybe another eruption there or a more significant earthquake in that area coming up on the 24th and 25th. And it looks like we already got a 4.5 in southern Sicily, but our forecast is calling for something more significant in uh, near Mount Etna and uh, Catania north, in northeast Sicily. All right, let's, uh, let's go to our uh, forecast maps. Let's see if we can close some of these down. This computer will listen to me. I need a faster computer. This one is as slow as, uh, slow as a snail. Maybe slower. All right, now we're going to look at the forecast for um, California. We have a significant earthquake coming up in Southern California, and I put the uh, maps for the 24th and 25th first. And the reason for that is uh, I want to focus on uh, the, what's coming up here in the 24th and 25th. So we have a very large high risk area down here in the south from Santa Maria to Santa Barbara to LA down to the Salton Sea, expecting a very strong earthquake in that area. 
Uh, here's another forecast model here, calls for a very high risk from Santa Maria down to just north of the Salt Sea as well. Uh, this one is a little more general and this is more, a little more specific one here. Until then, it looks like we'll get something up in Northeast Nevada on the 23rd. Tomorrow looks like something in Northeast Nevada, maybe a 4.0 to 4.5. And then on the 24th and the 25th, this is the area to look for a strong earthquake from uh, Santa Maria to Los Angeles to north of uh, the Salt Sea, Salt Sea area. And uh, so far, we're waiting on one more model to come in tomorrow. So we'll have a better idea tomorrow of what's happening and what exact location. But it looks like from Santa Maria to the Salton Sea, a strong earthquake on the 24th into the 25th. Up in Alaska, things are pretty quiet. 21st and 22nd, pretty quiet there, except for way in the north of uh, Alaska, near the oil country. And then uh, the 22nd to the 23rd, pretty quiet. 23rd, 24th very quiet except for the far north and the 24th and 25th begins to, the risk begins to grow here in the uh, Aleutian Islands area. All right, into the Santiago Chile forecast. And uh, once again, tonight that risk remains near uh, northeast of Copiapo and uh, south of Antofagasta and uh, east of uh, Sia uh, Santiago. And then on the 23rd, this uh, risk begins to expand here near Copiapo and northeast of La Serena. And that's for the 23rd. And then it diminished near uh, La Serena to 70% on the 23rd and the 24th. And 24th and 25th, an 80% risk there, maybe a 4.0 to 4.5 near uh, La Serena. But otherwise, maybe a 4.5 to 5.5 near uh, uh, near Copiapo, Chile, on the 22nd and the 23rd. And in Italy, like we mentioned, go over to Italy, the forecast is uh, for the uh, more significant earthquake near Catania and uh, northeast Sicily, and maybe another eruption of Mount, uh, Mount Etna in the coming on the 24th into the 25th. But that's where the most significant area in Italy during the next uh, 48 hours is uh, near Catania and Mount Etna in northeast Sicily. So watch for that. And over in uh, Tokyo, Japan and Japan forecast, the, uh, we're looking for a, about a 5.5 earthquake in this forecast here. This is the 24th into the 25th in the Shimane prefecture, which is uh, out in the, the western portion of Japan. And uh, looks like about a 5.5 is possible out in that area. 24th into the 25th. And let's go over to Greece. After that quake here in uh, west of uh, Athens, Greece, the risk begins to, uh, it's moving down into the uh, Rhodes Island in the east of Crete. And then we're at 5.0 is possible in that area off uh, east of Rhodes Island on the 22nd and 23rd. And then it continues to diminish. And then here, the sea of, uh, just south of the Sea of uh, Marmara in uh, Turkey, in Western Turkey, we could get a 4.0 in that 90% uh, risk area there. Okay, let's go down to the, uh, I think we skipped the Philippines. We're gonna go back to the Philippines here. In the Philippines, Zamboanga, way in the south here. The risk is building here. And then on the 24th and 25th, looks like a possible uh, 6.0 is possible near Zamboanga on the 24th and the 25th of December, way in the southwest portion of the Philippines. And Central America, it's uh, pretty quiet. 65% in Southern Mexico in the next 12 hours. And then uh, on the, tomorrow, uh, moderate risk across the south into uh, Colombia and south of Panama. And then we got a 60% risk of maybe a 4.0 in Guatemala on the 23rd and the 24th. 
And then uh, in southern Costa Rica, maybe a 4.0 earthquake for Christmas evening or Christmas day. Just a, a small earthquake uh, in southern Costa Rica on the 24th and the 25th. All right, let's take a look at Ecuador and Peru. And that risk in southern Ecuador uh, kind of separates into two areas, one in northern Ecuador and one in northwest Peru, 70% risk on the 22nd and the 23rd. And uh, that risk begins to diminish to 65% risk in northwest Peru, and then to 55% on the 24th and 25th. So risk is diminishing in that northwest Peru and southern Ecuador area. Over in Indonesia, we still have a, a warning for a 6.0 earthquake uh, in, off of the coast of central Sumatra. And we uh, showed you that 4.6, I believe, uh, just close to that area. But the warning area is here in just west of central Sumatra. A 6.0 is possible there. And then that risk diminishes to 70% on the 23rd and 24th. And the 24th and 25th, 75% uh, maybe another uh, aftershock of 4.0 to 5.0 in that same region of central Sumatra. Okay, in uh, Taiwan, Taipei, Taiwan forecast. Um, we had mentioned that uh, forecast in the northern or the quake in northern Ryukyu Islands. That was up in this 70-75% uh, risk area. Uh, pretty quiet in Taiwan, and the risk diminishes to 40% on the 23rd and 24th, and then it begins to build again on the 24th and 25th. Still pretty pretty low risk, 45% risk across uh, Taiwan. All right, the Caribbean forecast, including Puerto Rico, and I'm concerned about this area southwest portion of Dominican Republic and south of Haiti, or Haiti. We could get a 5.0 in, in that area here uh, in the next uh, 12 hours or so. And then the risk uh, moves to northeast of Puerto Rico on the 23rd. And that risk diminishes to 80% on the 23rd and 24th. And the risk begins to build near Venezuela on the 23rd and 24th. And a 5.0 to 5.5 is possible in Venezuela, northern Venezuela, on the 24th and 25th. All right, in the state of Washington and Oregon and Idaho, we could get a 4.0 to 5.0 south of Portland during the next 12 to 24 hours. And then a 4.0 to 4.5 in southern Idaho on the 22nd and the 23rd. And then that risk builds in uh, northeast Nevada and southern Idaho, maybe a 4.5 to 5.5 on the 23rd and 24th. And then the risk diminishes to 75% on the 24th and 25th. One more forecast, and that is the uh, Turkey forecast. And still risk of a uh, 5.0 up in uh, western Georgia, country of Georgia, and the risk extends down to Syria and Eastern Turkey for maybe a 4.0 in that area. And then the risk moves to Southern Syria, 4.0 is possible there. And you'll notice this area here in near uh, the, the Sea of Marmara is higher risk on the Greece forecast. And that is because the, uh, it's, it's uh, gauged a little bit differently on each map uh, because of this high risk over here in uh, Iraq this area looks a little bit smaller than it uh, does on the Greece forecast. But again, a 4.0 is possible south of the Sea of Marmara on the 24th and 25th, and maybe a 5.0 to 5.5 in uh, northern Iraq on the 24th and the 25th. And the uh, forecast I'm more, more concerned about right now is the uh, forecast in uh, California. A uh, very strong earthquake is likely on the 24th and 25th. Waiting on another uh, forecast model tomorrow, so we have a better idea tomorrow, which is the 23rd, we get closer. From uh, Parkfield and Santa Maria down to Santa Barbara, Los Angeles, all the way to the Salton Sea, very high risk, and uh, expecting a very strong earthquake in that region from Santa Maria to Los Angeles to the Salton Sea. 
So please stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow we'll have a better idea about that. And we'll keep you informed and keep you safe and keep you informed about uh, the next uh, next forecast model. When that comes in tomorrow, we'll be able to give you a better idea of uh, how big that quake will be and uh, more likely where it's going to hit. All right. Thank you for uh, following uh, QuakePrediction.com and um, please subscribe and hit that little uh, button, that uh, seismograph button up there in the corner. And um, Stay tuned and thanks for following quickprediction.com. Be sure to follow us and subscribe to us at YouTube. And thanks very much and have a great night. Have a great Tuesday, what's left of it, and a great week. And uh, stay safe. A big quake coming up in Southern California on uh, the 24th of the 25th. And happy holidays and stay safe on the roads. All right, thank you.